Hello Retreaters and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be making oatmeal cookies. Um, this is a voiceover so apologies in advance if you can hear my heavy breathing. Um, in this section I am just gathering all our ingredients. So what I am getting is flour, cinnamon, baking soda, salt, oats, uh, butter, sugar, eggs, and vanilla ex extract. I also noticed while I was mixing the ingredients that the recipe did not call for milk, but I added one cup of milk just because um, the dough was very dry and crumbly, and that's not how I make my cookies. Um, and yeah. And also, uh, you will see that I'm grabbing not only oats, but uh, granola, and that's because I do not have enough oats for this recipe. Uh, this recipe calls for uh, three cups of oats. I also am grabbing some Tupperware. Uh, this is what I do to mix in my stuff and then a hand mixer or electric mixer as well as uh, measuring cups and right now you can see me I am uh, separating the dry from the uh, wet ingredients. This recipe is also going to be uh, marked in the comments in a pinned comment if you guys need a visual of all the rest all the ingredients but um so right now i am combining all my dry ingredients so this recipe calls for two cups of flour one and a half uh, tablespoon or teaspoons of cinnamon i did two teaspoons just because I like cinnamon. <laughs> I also, uh, the recipe uh, uh, called for one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, three cups oats, one cup sugar. And um, yeah, that is all for the uh, dry ingredients. And then what I am doing is I'm just mixing all the dry ingredients together because it's a little easier to mix all the dry uh, together instead of mixing it all together with the wet. And then for the wet ingredients, you are going to be combining. I added it into uh, the same Tupperware, even though like I guess it would be easier to do uh, dry and then wet in a separate one but it's it's fine it worked so the wet ingredients you'll need is one cup butter um i believe i only did like that's i think a cup is one stick i only did like uh three fourths of a stick um and then i added two large eggs one teaspoon vanilla extract and one cup milk and then um, as you're going to see here you are going to mix all your ingredients wet and dry together uh, until it's like a consistency of like i describe it as like mushed bananas um yeah uh, I added the milk because uh, the, 
the consistency was like more of like a, I want to say like crumble cake almost, like the top of like a coffee cake or something. And um, I don't think uh, that's how you make cookies, so I just added milk. And then once you are all finished uh, stirring and mixing everything till it is the consistency of mush bananas, which I will show you uh, what mine looked like, you're going to want to cool it in a freeze or a fridge for one hour. Okay, now that it is set and one hour later, you're going to take it out and then you're going to set your oven to 375 degrees. Um, and preheat it. Then what you're going to want to do is grab all your um, cookie sheets and uh, like a spoon to help you um, grab uh, like roll your dough into balls and uh, you're going to roll them into balls and put them on your cookie sheet. sheet. <laughs> And then you're going to cook them for 8 to 10 minutes or until they are lightly golden. Um, my cookies didn't really expand that much. Um, I think that is how it's supposed to be. I'm not too sure because, um, you know, <laughs> I'm from Colorado. So um, with the high altitude, it's a little different. Cooking is a little bit different for us Coloradans, you know. Um, so, uh, I don't know if theirs, yours is going to expand as much, but mine did not expand very much. Um, I think, like, they probably expanded, like, maybe, like, two centimeters at the most. And then, voila! You got yourself some oatmeal cookies. I'm going to taste test these. These are very delicious. Definitely tried and true. Um, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below if you guys um, tried this recipe before and yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!